three daffodils. Aren't they just beautiful? Oh, I think Sarah would love to see them too. And I hope to grow some of these daffodils too uh, when I get home. And I'm sure Sarah would love to too. Oh, have you guys seen Sarah anywhere? I can't find her anywhere. Oh, I better go inside and look for Sarah. Maybe I'll find her there. But first, I need to transform. Oh, look guys, I've transformed. And now I can go look for Sarah. Come with me and we'll go find her. about flowers. Hmm, I wish I have my own flower. Sarah, I finally found you. Hi, Mama. Hi, Sarah. It's great to see you again. It's great to find Sarah, kids. Mama? Yes? Can you help me with my, my own plant? Yes, yeah, sure. You want me to show you how to grow your own plant? Yes. Yes, that's a great idea, Sarah. Okay. Come with me and I'll explain a few details before we start growing our own plants. Yay! The five parts of a plant are the leaves, flowers, fruits, stems and roots. However, this all starts with a seed. This is called an embryo. And then the seed is planted deep into the soil. And then what happens is that it's watered with a sufficient amount of water that hydrates the plant. And with a sufficient amount of sunlight, the plant is able to grow. As you can see here kids, the plant is growing just like you are. However, plants are growing due to sunlight and water. And you kids are growing due to food and water. Mama, it's so interesting. Yes, you're right, Sarah. It is interesting. So now, kids, that we know about the different parts of the plant, let me tell you about the shoot and root system that I will talk to you in more detail about. The plant has two structures. These include the root structure and the shoot structure. The root structure is the part of the plant that anchors it into the soil. It absorbs nutrients and water needed by the plant to grow. Whilst the shoot structure is made up of the stems and the leaves. The stem supports the upper part of the plant. It acts as the root transports the nutrients and water to the rest of the plant. Whilst the leaves are the part of the plant where photosynthesis happens. And this is a process where plants produce their food. It's green because of chlorophyll which is the substance that captures light energy and converts carbon dioxide to oxygen. The flowers are the reproductive part of the plant. These often have colourful fragrant petals to attract pollinators, like birds and insects. A flower is usually composed of petals, stamen, pistil and sepals, which are the inside part, parts of the plant. The fruits are the fleshy substances that surround seeds. These act as protection for the seeds, while also attracting animals to it. Okay kids, now that we know some facts about plants, the structure and many more things, let's see about how we can grow our own plant. So what do things do plants need, Sarah? Sunlight and water. Yes, excellent work. They need sunlight and water. Sunlight helps them to grow and water keeps them hydrated. So the three things that we need to grow a plant is that we need a pot with some soil or compost in it. And lastly, we need a seed or in this case, we have a daffodil bulb. Sarah wanted this type of plant. She loves daffodils, right Sarah? She loves daffodils? Yeah, she loves daffodils. So we're using a daffodil bulb to make our plant. So the first step that we need the, uh, to grow a plant is a, um, make a make a hole inside it. Yes. Hole inside. 
Yeah, so make a hole right like this. We need to make it big and large enough, just like this kid. And then we put the dotted, this the bulb inside. Yes, and then we cover it up <coughs> with soil. Wow, great job, Sarah. That's it. And that's how it looks, should look like. The last step is we need water. This will keep the plant hydrated and also put it somewhere where there's lots of sunlight so that it can grow. Therefore, kids, that's all for this video. But remember, if you have any seed at home, use it and plant it just like we've shown you. Therefore, thank you for watching, kids. See you in the next video. Bye.